Hill still has its fair share of visitors despite the shitty weather. But to Grandi's Lil All Girl Fan Club, it's just yet another day to shadow their king. And Kaylee is fast becoming a regular member in his entourage. With Fifi's blessing. A daughter of the lowest of the low, now enjoying the same perks as other babies in this small privileged group. Kaylee has defied many things we know about monkey society. hierarchy is not as rigid as we once thought. But Grandi exceptional fondness of baby girls and tolerance for them has also played a large part in this. But it's bad time to be a boy in Bossy's troop. Grandy doesn't tolerate boys once they are bigger, even if they are his own sons. Kaylee could come and go as she wishes. She really is a part of this little group now. And she is welcome too. Can't imagine that ever happens to her mum, Gypsy. Have you noticed, you rarely see a boy around Grandy at all?
and within this little circle, Fifi comes first. They are obviously getting a bit disappointed with all the vehicles that have driven past them so far. None of them have brought them any goodies at all. And have you seen anything like this before? Fifi is like the leader of a juvenile gang that bullies others, even adults too. And her gang's behavior is not going unnoticed by the elders. They are clearly not happy with this breakdown of hierarchy. The problem is Bossy seems to be neutral in this. Is Fifi's gang growing too powerful nowadays even for her, the matriarch? In a way, Grandy's a bit like Chairman Mao who has cultivated his own little red guards in the form of Fifi and other yearling girls to supplant the existing hierarchy. There's Kaylee. Notice now she doesn't bother her mum at all. Why is Toby so jubilant suddenly?
No wonder, one of the regular feeders is here. He hasn't forgotten about his monkey friends even in this shitty weather at all. So the wait is over. It's all worth it despite hanging out in the rain. Spocky and the bachelor troop he's now part of has missed out on the handouts. And to make things worse, he's found himself right next to Ragtag Troop. Where is Batty? I wonder. Spocky probably wonders too. Poor guy, he really is not used to fending for himself at such a young age. As we speak all his childhood friends are stuffing the pouches with food the regular feeder has brought to them, and not a worry at all. This bachelor troop of mostly young boys cannot compete with a troop, however small like ragtags. They are still outnumbered and too young to fight properly.
That's it, it's settled. They have to leave the road. That's a troop I have no knowledge of. Spocky has gone back into the forest with the other boys.